guys, Andy here. Uh, this one's more of a heads up really than necessarily a review because there's not a great deal for me to show you about it but you might not be aware that Google now has a Chrome Remote Desktop app. Now I've got two PCs listed, you can see there, my main PC and my server downstairs. Um, and basically what I'll do, I tap, it's going to ask me for a pin which I shall input. then connects and that is my desktop at the moment um, the weird thing being you're effectively sort of dragging the cursor around the screen um, rather than you know you'd imagine doing that would move the screen the other way so it's a little bit takes a little bit of getting used to um, but there we can see what I had to install, or just sorry, I say there, there, Chrome, Chrome Remote Desktop, but I'll show you on the actual PC. One second. So there is my actual desktop. Um, search for Chrome Remote Desktop. It's an extension for Google Chrome, the browser. Uh, I've installed it obviously already, so it's saying launch app. It's quite a simple process. You have to authorize a couple of times. Um, let me just come out of you see at the bottom, as you can't see. Maybe you can see there, look at the bottom it's saying it's being shared to, to my Gmail. But I'm just going to close that. Because it's making it all flickery. There we go, it's gone. <clears throat> so yeah, you install the app, the, uh, the extension, sorry. Um, so you can see it there, look, Chrome Remote Desktop. Um, and that's basically all you do. You set up a pin code, uh, then when you launch the app, as you saw, the computers you have are listed. It really is as simple as that, and I suppose actually just once more I'll show you while we're looking at the, the actual computer screen. So it's quite faded if you can see. See it is there, look. And then I'm going to, can we see the mouse pointer? Where's it gone? Oh, there it is. See me controlling the pointer? Now I should point, show you. Right now I'm on Wi-Fi, look, if it'll focus. Well, either way, I'm going to turn off Wi-Fi. Let's just refresh that. Listen, if you can see now, I'm only, I've got an H connection. I'm going to focus, well, there we go. I've got an H connection. We're going to hopefully connect back in. Pin number again. So you set the pin number once when you're setting it up on your PC. It's relevant to just your PC. And then you're done. Let's turn the brightness up a little bit on here. It's going to take a little bit longer to connect because it's using the data connection rather than Wi-Fi. But, come on, there we go. You can see the animations like a second or so behind. I found my pointer's a bit a bit laggier on the screen. If I go up and put it on the cog and, and tap, there you go, you see it pop up and you see it on there. So it's only a very slight delay and just again to show you that is on a, an H connection not on Wi-Fi. So you could be out and about if you've left your PC on at home you can just connect on in and, and do whatever you need to do basically. could be very very handy. Um, I suppose, out of interest, let's just try. Playing a video. So there's no sound, obviously. There's no sound, and it was quite jerky. You wouldn't necessarily, that was just something I'd done for work. Um, you wouldn't necessarily be able to watch TV shows or movies when you're out and about, but uh, still very handy for connecting into your. See the lag actually is clear. If I just no, I'm still on H. I thought the uh, the cursor seems a lot more responsive now. I don't know what what changed. Maybe I've just got a better connection. Anyway, there you go. So like I said, there's not a great deal to see. Just to show you, look, there it is. That could be very handy for a lot of people, I'd imagine. That's uh, Google Chrome Remote Desktop. My name's Andy. I'll catch you all again soon.